Hello and welcome everybody, I'm One Prop of Aaron and this is the very first episode of a new playthrough. We finished the Führerreich playthrough and I looked through the mod uh, workshop on Steam and I found a lot of different interesting scenarios, but you know what? I, I just thought to myself, Equestria War, you're not a brony, you have no idea about that stuff, uh, World of Warcraft, you don't understand any of it, never played any of the games except in Tower Defense on... Uh, lands uh, that I did with my friends in high school. So why don't we just play Lord of the Rings and here we are playing Lord of the Rings. So it all works out and we are going to play Mordor. So without further ado, let's just jump right in, right? Uh, the mod is pretty good. One of the... <laughs> this is such a good joke. Oh, I love it. I, I absolutely love it. <laughs> I love what they did there. But regardless, we are Mordor and we're going to da go down the historical path, by which I mean that we are going to go down the path of, uh, you know, destroying, like, we we're going to submit to Sauron, we're going to kill everybody else. We're going to have a great time, everybody. Right, let's uh, restore Barad-Dor. Let's start with that, then we take all of our armies and put them into this unit. Look at Grishnak. Ah, oh, this mod is this mod is great. I endorse this mod officially. Right, um, let's put half of you over here and then the other half over here. In uh, look at look at what this this looks like. In the region over there, let's build some. So we have some time, right? Uh, this the series, by the way, will likely very likely be over uh, quicker than any other series because this is you know it's just a smaller mod it's fine though we're gonna have some fun we're gonna dominate middle earth we're gonna push elves to uh the end of their existence i think that's a pretty good goal right there and uh, let's build some light tanks as well fighters always welcome of course as are the interwar bombers uh, we don't have any ships but i think we'll be fine in that regard all right, uh, do we even have a division template for tanks? We do not. Do we have tanks researched? Why can I build tanks when we have nothing in that regard? Oh, we even have the 1934 right there. Right, let's speed it up a bit. What are we not producing currently? Artillery motorized, right. Okay, you know what? That's probably good. good reason right there. Right, artillery and motorized. Motorized is actually just a, heart, uh, a, co <laughs> a horse with a cart. I love it. I love it. This is such a nice mod. I, I'm not using the music, obviously, but even still. The War of the Ring evolves around many things, but of course, a small golden trinket lies at the center of it all, the One Ring. In this mod, the One Ring adopts the form of a national spirit that grants a very significant stat boost to her divisions. The nations of Lothlorien, Isengard, uh, Gondor, and Mordor can try to obtain the ring through their focus tree during specific time frames. The likeliness of this attempts, uh, these attempts being successful depends on the strength of the Fellowship protecting Frodo. At around December 1936, Rivendell will invoke Elrond's council. The nation of Gondor, Mirkwood, and Erebor can now choose to add either their finest warriors, a decent replacement, or no one at all to the Fellowship. Watch out for a news, a news event titled The Fellowship of the Ring and take a quick glance at the event's picture. It will quickly re uh, reveal who exactly is part of the Fellowship. That's pretty... That's so cool! I love it. Should no nation manage to obtain the ring by 1943, Frodo will destroy it and the nation of Mordor will be severely weakened. Can anything be unclear now? Everything's clear, buddy. Let's go. So, Lord of the Rings, honestly. Great piece of whack. What, what else can you say about it, really, you know? Uh, I'm a connoisseur of good literature, and I feel like it's actually not that great. Uh, of course not. Of course not. Wait, is this just one province here? Jesus, these provinces are huge. Come on, let's restore Barad Door, everybody. And after that, uh, I mean, I'm going to do the fate. Ooh. The bread Minas Morgul. Or Grant Autonomy. Paranormal activities in the Shire. Just disappeared. Restore Barad-Dor. Right. King for a kingdom. Wow. This is pretty cool. There's a lot of really good stuff in there. I want to establish the hierarchy first and do the hunt for the ring as the very first part of this. This gains us some political power. We could also do some anti-communist raids. Yeah, there is a way here, by the way, to go communist with the Council of Orc Syndicates. But you know what? Nah, we're going to bring a hierarchy. We're going to bring domi uh, dominance. We're going to bring the hegemony of Sauron. 
Submit to Sauron. There you go. That's what we want to hear here. Uh, let's take a look at the tanks, by the way, because I would like to go for the 1936 variant. Could I? Yes. War economy. Let's go. That's right. Somebody has to do it. Please clap. Right, we have now submitted to Sauron. Let's uh, go on a hunt for the ring. I like that they chose 28 day foci. I, I put everybody in historical foci mode, by the way. So, yeah, he's honoring Isilda's le legacy. He's not, you know, prancing on him, but it's going to take some time until they actually get to uh, admit Please that clap. maybe, maybe, just maybe, they should be ruled by Aragon. Torture Golem. Uh. Why would I? Oh, you have to do it, I suppose. Yeah, but let's first gather the Nazgul. Now, that's a 70-day focus, but time flies, as you can see, because not much is going on in the old world. It's just hanging around over here. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's just... That's a special kind of great. Soviet Union. Do you even... What do you do, Stalin? Oh, you don't have anything. Understandable. Oh, look at them. They even have... They have crossbows. I mean, they're not exactly orcs. You're an orc. Why are you an orc, but you aren't? The riders... The horse riders are a bit a bit strange. Lord Barlin is dead after having reclaimed the mountain of Arabo for his kin. The legendary dwarf Barlin has suffered a tragic fate in his quest to reclaim the mines of Moria. The quest seemed to be going well, but a recent surge in orc forces has taken the valiant dwarves by surprise. With their leader dead, Moria seems to lost, uh, lost, as military experts estimate the dwarves' chances of survival of 8 to 1. So, there's a civil war going on in the mines of Moria. You have the communists, the free orcs of Moria, and the Dwarven Defense Committee under Gloin. I think uh, Gloin is gonna lose, but don't tell him that. So, let's gather the Nazgul. And then we shall move in further. Right, obviously we have no template for the orcs, but still. Wizard clash at Orthanc. Uh, physical fight erupted in the Tower of Orthanc, Isengard. During a heated debate between two wizards, Zaruman, leader of the Order of Wizards, reportedly closed the door on his former confident Gandalf the Grey, prompting him to throw Zaruman off his feet. This scene is uncommon for Isengard's normally sedate atmosphere. Right. The Shire questions Arthur Dane's authority. What? What focus did they do? Oh, it's just random, I suppose. Neither of them have any focuses. After having rel uh, relished Arthur Dane protection for centuries, a common consensus has risen up in the Shire that they no longer require the rangers of the north to keep them safe. Ah. Huh. Alright. Let's torture Gollum. Also, why did Gollum... Oh, they... What? It was a question mark just now. I swear to God, I saw it. Don't lie to me, game. Oh, that was very quick. Search the Shire for the ring. 5% chance. Let's do it. 5% chance. Come on, give me the ring. Give me the ring. Please clap. I don't think we got the ring. Um, I think we should focus on the fate of Mordor, sure. I don't think we got the ring. Yeah, I think we got unlucky there. Ooh, they got their own... Ooh. Every leaf and end. <laughs> Every leaf and end. Mm. They're trusting Gandalf. Uh, they're going to go to war on uh, the side of the democra uh, democracies and not on the side of us, the fascists. Mm. Now we have to wait until 1940 until we can get the ring. And at that point, I will do that and get the ring. I'm not going to be destroyed. Are you crazy? King of Rowan diagnosed with hypothyroidism. He's a bit sick, yeah, it appears. Right, we've done that. Let's go with a. Ah, Mass Assault Doctrine is alright. Let's go with our Doctrine. Let's punch him in the gut. I want this entire continent, when I'm done here, okay? I want this entire continent to just say Mordor. That's all I want. Play the long game or swift victory. We could immediately go, uh, go and do that, but I think that would be an issue. Yeah, I think we're going to play the long game. I think we'll be fine with the long game. 
But maybe we want to go with the uh, ward operations first. Shoot down the eagles. <laughs> See, this is why uh, Frodo couldn't fly to Mordor. Honestly, no. I, I just want to do this. I want Minas Tirith to uh, be his own thing. I like that. Give me some military factories as well. How are we doing on equipment? Motorize is a bit behind, but other than that, we're doing great. So we're going to run out of artillery here rather soon. Oh, actually no. How many people are in one of these divisions? 9,300. That's actually a decent amount. Secret intel, right? That ran out, obviously. Now, as you can see, time passes very, very quickly already here. Look at, look at this stuff. But well, that's good. It will make it a bit of a shorter series, you know, just uh, having a good time in a rather short series. And I think that's nice. After that, I will take another look at what we can do. Rivendell, invoke secret council. Uh, don't, I, I don't think that is the event we were looking for, right? I don't think so. No, 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 no. Okay. Just give me... Draw all the way from Gondor to Erebor, words have spread to Elrond, Lord of Imladris, summoning several notable representatives. Uh, okay, I think we're good to go. I don't this think is that is, this is the event, isn't it? Everybody send everybody, I think. Fate of Minas Morgul, let's uh, grant them authority. That's the most interesting part of this, huh? The Fellowship of the Ring. Wait, actually, I want to, I have one question here. Ah, oh, this is okay. Yeah, let's get Witch King Angma in this. The Fellowship of the Ring. Okay, everybody's going in, it appears. Let's go with uh, Juan Dos Chilis. Man, this is going to be a quick let's play. Let's say this may be like six episodes. I think it's a, it's a nice idea. Um, what is also interesting to know about Mordor, you know, in the books, of course, that they could never win. There was no chance of Mordor winning because the books uh, have always been the story of good defeating evil if you just keep going. And, you know, there are some obvious, very obvious Jesus uh, allegories in this one as well. You have, you know, the celebration of kingdomhood. You have, look at Rohan, right? He has shitty advisors, but then the king himself is freed and the king rules personally. And does his very own decisions and suddenly everything Please goes go. well and you know everyone's like wow i love the king but look at mina's morgul down here valdemar alvis nah you deserve king angwa are you crazy valdemar <laughs> what are you doing here Ma valdemar get out of there um so you know it's it, it has a certain tolkien certainly was a person that loved the monarchy so it, his work is tainted with it as well. But as much as that may be true, I don't think you should judge his work just by that. You know, just as much as you shouldn't judge his work by, oh, he totally meant communism down here. No, no, no. It's just like, hey, it's a fantastical realm and you should enjoy it for what it is. 13 minutes in already 1937. Man, this is the time to be alive. Establish new supply lines. We're certainly going to go, by the way, we're certainly going to go with uh, not the, Swiss, uh, the swift victory, with the opposite of that. I think what we do want to build, though... Please quiet. Okay, one moment, yeah. I need a new division. We're going to call it... Okay. Alright, you know what? I'm going to use light tanks here. Then we're going to use some motorized. Ah, that's too expensive, huh? Well, there you go. That's a very tiny tank division, but it is a tank division. And I want to name it... Metal Horses. There you go. That's what I had in mind. A king for a kingdom, so he was now pulled in there. Uh, let's go with Conquest of Middle-earth, and then we go with the long-term victory. Can I build a metal horse as I say this? Yes, I can. Wait, stop that. Yeah, all right, all right, we'll produce it. This will be fine. What do we have over here? Uh, yeah, this will also be good. Saruman denounces Rohan's integrity. In a press conference last week, Saruman, chief of the wizards, lashed out at demented King Theoden. He claimed Rohan's government had less authority than a half-witted dwarf and warned the world uh, he would send the boys in. 
<laughs> if King Theoden didn't clean up this mess, in response to these inflammatory statements, the king's cousin AMS said threats by Isengard would not go unpunished and described the wizard as a senile maniac, fond of playing with fire, fond of playing with fire. Both parties have ceased all trade between Isengard and Rohan for the time being. I, by the way, in German, obviously, because we pronounce the I differently, we say Isengard, and I always liked it more. It sounded a bit more elegant. But I actually have no clue what Tolkien himself had in mind, so I guess that Isengard may or may not actually be, you know, the right choice there. But I think Isengard just sounds so much more powerful. Moria elects a Balrog as their leader. Well... <laughs> A new Dark Lord. Deal with the Balrog. Submit to the Balrog. A new Dark... Aww, oh, you twat! They're not uniting with me, how dare you? The citizens of the Mines of Moria held a grand assembly that week and came to the decision to appoint a Balrog of Morgoth as their new sovereign. Although little is known of the Valarauka dubbed Durin's Bane, except that he lived within the depths of the Dwarven Kingdom for centuries after Morgoth's defeat during the War of the Urarth. Uh, when the dwarves dig too deep in search for Mithril, the beast awoke, slaying Dwarf King Durin the Sixth, claiming the title of Durin's Bane. <laughs> I love how they transformed it into modern reality. Look at you, Minas Morgul, already building some troops. Right, we're gonna go play the long game. Actually, no, oh, it's too late. I can't cancel it. But then again, maybe it's... Like, the issue that I have with it in theory right now is that it will create allies. But I want to conquer everything. I... You're looking at this. Why did I create you? You fool. I don't like it matters, does it? Let's do a total of five of these. And three of these. Hey, and we can now enhance you a bit. Give me some more motorized and some more light tanks. There you go. Please clap. Play the long game. Seek allies in the west. Seek allies in the east. War preparations. When can I do this? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so once I've done all of these, I un understandable. Uh, what I think we should do is seek allies in the east. Because that way we can still get pretty quickly to uh, towards establishing hegemony. There you go. You're one too many, but that's okay. Now, since the east is the first thing we're actually going to be looking at here. Oh, all of these mountains actually are, oh, wow. I'm going to put you over here and then I'm going to get some real generals here. The Witch King himself. Welcome. I hate this sandstorm over there, by the way. <laughs> I don't even want to look at that in detail. Oh, I think this is going to be great. We're going to war like crazy here with our armored horses thingies that we apparently use. Seek allies in the east. Time to enslave the east. This is against the Eastlands. So I see how many troops you got. 23 to 34. I think we'll be fine. Uh, we are building fighters, right? So, why don't we? Hmm. Probably start by actually building an airbase, eh? I honestly just need like a few levels. How are the horses going? The horses are going well. We should dial this down. Dial that up. Then go with some infantry research. That's a nice little thing, archer support. That's cute. Right. Rune submits. Oh. Alright. Well, so much for that. Oh, the dead marshes. Let's enslave the south. So you have submitted, huh? Oh, Carmel rules you now. Nice. Rune declares for Sauron. Carmel, an important mortal personality and native to the realms of Rune, was appointed its leaders of the delight, uh, to the delight of many dark pact ac advocates. We are actually peaceful. I'm not sure if you were aware. Why am I even building this now? 
Let's bring this up to 600 and use this as our general air wing. General air wing. God, these provinces are too large. Defense in depth. That's okay. Deep battle, mass mobilization. Got some new troops ready. Okay, I think after enslaving the south, we're gonna take a look at... Ooh. Really? His Grace Theodine, King of the Roh Rohirrim, has finally... As formally excommunicated, his former chief advisor Grima Warmtongue from his realm. Many questions have been uh, raised in regards to this ousting, as the king had previously praised Warmtongue's service greatly. Well, Mr. Warmtongue needs a different home now. That's so not 1940 yet, but after we done, uh, we've done the south, we will certainly look into. Excuse me. Are you? Are you not going there? Submits hesitantly. Hmm. Realm of Hadrat joins the Dark Pact. Well. Oh, the mouth of Sauron. Disgusting. All right, you know what? We can still do the north. Oh. Okay. Ah, civil war. Right. So they. They worked. It didn't all work out perfectly. There were some people that were against it, and now we have a civil war. And we can easily, I think, take care of that. Spark of the Arad Civil War. The realms of Arad have taken up arms against one another. Ten divisions. Several high-ranking generals seeking to overthrow the pro mordor stands, as well as large parts of the realm of Pelada and Umbar, have issued an ultimatum. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Where was I? And declared all allies to Mordor traitors to the realm. Mordor central government has responded to these settlements by a declaration of war. Yes. Aradraith stands with... Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna be fine. More than fine, honestly. Man, if only these provinces weren't so large. Oh, this is like... Look at... Look at this stuff. This was tiny promises and now it's all just getting huge. How are they doing here? 7 to 11, archer support. Uh, let's go with better swords. We can already do that. We'll be fine. Aragorn crowned king of Gondor. Wow, they actually did it, the madmen. Now that may be an actual challenge over there. We'll have to see. Have we produced any tanks yet, by the way? We did. Ooh. Please clap. Dargalad submits. Who? You. Right. Hunters of the Marsh and Kamul also rules you. He rules supreme. He really does. But with that, I will leave it here and we will see each other in the next episode. Uh, we are incredibly powerful these days. The Dark Pact is rising. Now, good thing that they're all puppets because that means I can annex them at some point. We're winning this war easily and then soon it'll be time to move into Gondor. I will see you in the next episode. Later.